How's it going, Palmetto's finest gamers and curious onlookers? I'm back again today with another tutorial. This tutorial today is requested by X Killer Wasabi X, and he wants me to make a Vault server. Now, unfortunately, I was un unable to find a Vault server for version 1.1.3. However, the most up-to-date version, which is the recommended build on the Vault site, is version 1.0.11. Now, for this tutorial, you will need three things. The Vault server, the most recent one, Logmin Hamachi, as well as a Forever Alone folder with nothing in it. He has no friends, he doesn't even have a name. Alright, so what you want to do first is open up your zipped file right here, press Control A, and then drag everything over to your Forever Alone folder, giving him some friends. Alright, so now you want to open up this folder. You know what, let's even give him a name. Let's see, Forever Alone, his name will be Todd. Look at Todd. Poor fella. Now what you want to do first is you want to open up your executable jar file. Now this is going to resemble a normal Minecraft server in a bit. So what you want to do is open this up and you'll see it's even the same layout as a normal Minecraft server. Might have been a long night. You know, Volt server doesn't even know it's a Volt server yet. It's been partying with some Minecraft servers. So as you'll see here, same layout. So there's pretty user friendly when it comes to making a server from people who are just used to vanilla Minecraft. But you'll see here that the server will go through all the normal protocol. It'll start spawning an area. It'll tell you about what's going on with the survival, what the port is, and all that good stuff. Now this does take a little bit as the server contains quite a few mods and all. So I'll cut back once this is done. All right guys, we are back and you can see right here how it took over just a minute to set up and all. So this is a bit of a uh, time cruncher. So if you've got some emails to check, this will be a good thing to do while you're setting up your vault server. You know, big businessmen play vaults all the time. So you can just X out of this once you're done with it. And you'll notice that Todd folder right here. You don't have to name it Todd, of course, I didn't mention that. But you'll notice there's plenty more folders in here. Now this is really going to resemble a Minecraft server right here. Now, so what you want to do here is open up your properties file right here. I just took a look. I was like, wait a second. I thought I saw something new. But it's just a launch file. That's what tripped me up a bit. I don't usually play Vault, so all these new folders kind of give me a bit of an interesting time. I'm just like, what was that? Oh, oh my goodness. All right, so this is where Hamachi comes in handy. We just minimize this at the moment. What you want to do is open up your Hamachi. <clears throat> now, if you want to play with some buddies, I'm assuming if you want to make a server, you plan on playing with some friends, you may want to download Logme and Hamachi. The reason you want to do so is you can download a server, or you can make a network right here. Create a network, and then you can have your friends join. It'll be all secure, and it'll be off of your IP, so you can run servers and all that good shizzle whizzle. But for this tutorial, what you want to do is, you see this little bar up here. If you click on it, left or right click, left click, right click, you'll see copy IPv4 address. You'd like to do this, and then come over here into your properties file, and then paste that, like so. Now, if you've ever used a Minecraft server before, you will know all this stuff is just like the same thing. You know, you can change your max players. Let's say we only want five people on. If you don't want monsters to spawn, you can change that to false. You can change like the message that comes up right here. Anything like that, make sure to save this file once you're done. Yep, save right here. Now we can reopen this folder, and then you can do all your OPs, talk about your whitelist, all that good stuff. But from here on out, you, you can use your launch or your Volts execute jar file. It really doesn't matter. Let's just use launch. I'll show you that works too. And then once this gets all going, let's open up Volts right here. Now Volts always takes a bit for me. So let's just let this launch up right here. Oh yes, also make sure that you do have the correct version of Volts. It has to be 1.1, wait, hold on a sec. I believe it's, let's see here. <laughs> I don't want to tell you guys wrong, let me double check. All right, it has to be 1.0.11. <clears> In order for this to work, you can't have 1.1.13 or anything like that. It has to be 1.1 as mods always update. So if you have the wrong version, you'll get booted out. Now, I already have this set up right here. Let me just delete this, and I'll show you guys how to do this. You can name whatever server name it is, but the server address has to be your IP number. Now, if you don't want your friends to see your IP number, well, you can just hide address. Yeah, like that, and you'll see right here how it's hidden. But you'll see right here how we have a green bar. None peop no people are in there, and it's good to go. Let's see if it works. So now we're just logging in right here. And the faithful moment. Leap of faith. And we got in. Well, that is basically how you make a Vault server. I'm, I'm sorry, Killer Wasabi, that I was unable to find the correct version you requested, but this is the best I could do so that when that appropriate version comes out, you can download it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video on how to make a Vault server. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials like this one. I'll see you guys soon.